this week I wanted to talk about something that is making everybody miserable. And I don't know why nobody's talking about this, so this week we're going to talk about it. So if you want to know what it is, stay tuned. Shout out to my mom because she got me this awesome new shirt. And I love it. Thanks, mom. What is this thing that's just making everybody miserable that nobody's talking about? Well, that was so cheesy. <laughs> Your own expectations. Let that sink in for a minute. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is we tend to set up expectations for how we want our day to go or how we think our life is going to go, and we really cling to these, um, these things that haven't even happened yet. And because they're in the future, there's no way to know if they ever will even happen, ever. And then when we get to the future and our expectations don't come true, we are massively let down and sometimes just destroyed when the thing that we were looking forward to doesn't meet up to our own hyped up expectations. Uh, so I just wanted to point this out because I think if you can learn to manage your own expectations a little bit better, you won't have to deal with uh, the crushing disappointment when your expectations fail or are missed. So that's kind of what I wanted to chat a little about in this video about expectations. <laughs> so how can we manage our expectations a little bit better? Uh, so I think for me, it's always helpful for me to realize that although I may have a, um, a this is weird, uh, although I may have a preferred outcome for something, I always try to mentally prepare myself that that may not actually be the case or the outcome I think is going to happen might not actually happen the way I think it'll happen. I do like to think about what all the different outcomes of something will be, uh, which probably might not be healthy to be... Anyway, try, you're supposed to try to stay here in the now, and that's probably not constructive to like be thinking about all the possible outcomes. Um, but I do try to prepare myself and say, you know, I like this outcome, and I think this is the outcome that's going to happen, but I know that it may be a little different than the way I'm imagining. And I always try to tell myself that going into any situation. So whenever I go into a situation, my gut instinct is to, my brain like fans out over all the possible outcomes of the situation. And... I don't know if that's really the most healthy thing to do, so I'm trying to scale back on doing that. Uh, but I do like to like really analyze the situation very fully and like, anyway. But I try not to overanalyze because you shouldn't spend all your time thinking about the future because it hasn't happened yet and it's just going to make you more anxious if you uh, are kind of an anxious person or just anyone. You just, you want to be in the present so you can enjoy your life today and not spend all your time, you know, thinking over stuff that hasn't even happened yet. So I try not to do that, but when I'm going into a situation, I try to manage my own expectations and say, yes, I think and hope the situation will go this way, but because I can't predict the future, it might not. And I, and I, and I remind myself and I tell myself that sometimes situations don't turn out the way I want them, but in the long run, what happens instead ends up being a million times better than what I thought I wanted in the first place. And I remind myself of this because, and then I try to think of the situations where something that was like a surprise or was unexpected led to something really great in my life. And so when I have a situation that doesn't go as planned, I try, I, well, no, I remind myself that I don't know where this, you know, unexpected change will take me, but usually, or fairly often, if I relax and go with it, the change can be something very good, because even though it's very easy to get comfortable in your situations and uh, with what you know, uh, growth happens when you are learning to deal with change and 
when you are changing and you change when you grow. Um, and so I think growth and change are very important. It's just sometimes it's not always easy to deal with it. Um, but anyway, that's a random video <laughs> about expectations because I was just thinking those things are really, really bad for us. Our, you know, we need to have maybe less expectations, more hopes, dreams, and goals, but less uh, just concrete expectations. Our expectations need to be flexible, um, which, like I said, I know it's not, not always easy, but um, when we learn to let our expectations be more flexible, or we learn to adjust our expectations through work, life gets easier and better, and you, you, you just, if anything, do it for yourself because you will be more relaxed. And then if you're relaxed, you're happy. And you want to be happy, right? So anyway, yeah, that's that's my thoughts about why we should kind of ease up on our expectations a little bit. Alrighty, guys. Have a good week. And